Welcome to Cheap Cheese. Have you ever wondered why some ice creams are so cheap, while others are so expensive? Today we're diving into the frosty world of ice cream, a treat that's as diverse in price as it is in flavor. From the bargain bin to the gourmet counter, the range is vast, but why? What makes one scoop cost a mere dollar while another might set you back a cool 10? Well my friends it all boils down to a few key factors. And no, it's not just about fancy packaging or brand names, although those can certainly play a part. The true differences lie in the ingredients, the process, and believe it or not, the air. Yes, you heard right, the air. But we'll get to that in a bit. First, let's talk ingredients. You see, not all ice creams are created equal. The cheap ones often rely on artificial flavors and colors, and they may contain more water and less cream. On the other hand, the expensive ones typically use premium, natural ingredients like real vanilla beans and fresh locally sourced fruits. They're also likely to have a higher cream content which as you might guess, ups the price tag. Next up, the process. Making ice cream is an art and like any art, it can be done quickly and cheaply or it can be done with care and time. The inexpensive ice creams are usually mass-produced using machines that can churn out thousands of gallons per hour. The pricier ones, however, are often made in smaller batches, with careful attention to detail and sometimes even by hand. And finally, the air. You might not think about air when you're enjoying a scoop of your favorite flavor, but it's actually a crucial component of ice cream. It's what gives it that light, creamy texture. The amount and quality of air incorporated during the churning process can greatly affect the final product, and this is another area where cheap and expensive ice creams differ. Stay tuned to uncover the secrets behind your favorite frozen treat. Dive into the world of budget-friendly ice creams where mass production and cost-cutting reign supreme. Let's peel back the wrapper and take a look at what's really inside that scoop of vanilla or tub of chocolate fudge. First up, let's talk about the heart of the operation. Large-scale manufacturing. Imagine a factory buzzing with machinery, churning out tub after tub of ice cream. It's a far cry from the quaint image of a local ice cream shop, isn't it? But that's exactly how your favorite supermarket brands keep prices low and shelves stocked. Now let's get into the nitty-gritty. Ingredients. To save costs, cheaper brands often use artificial flavorings instead of natural ones. So that strawberry flavor? It might not have ever seen a real berry. And that creamy texture? It's often the result of stabilizers and emulsifiers rather than pure cream. These synthetic ingredients are cheaper and have a longer shelf life making them a go-to for mass-produced ice creams. Lastly, there's a secret ingredient in cheap ice cream that you might not expect. Air. Yes, you heard that right. Air is whipped into the mix to increase the volume, a process known as overrun. This means that a substantial portion of that tub of ice cream is just, well, nothing. It's a clever trick to make you think you're getting more for your money. So there you have it. The secret to cheap ice cream lies in large-scale manufacturing artificial ingredients and a good dose of air. It's a world where quantity often trumps quality and where the bottom line is king. But hey, at the end of the day, who can resist a scoop of ice cream, no matter how it's made? Just remember, you get what you pay for. Now that we've seen the process behind budget ice creams, let's take a look at their pricier counterparts. Welcome to the realm of gourmet ice creams, a world of premium ingredients and artisanal processes. A place where ice cream is not just a sweet treat, but an experience. A culinary journey that weaves together flavor, texture, and a dash of decadence. In the world of high-end ice cream, small is beautiful. These ice creams are typically made in limited quantities with each batch receiving a level of care and attention that mass-produced versions can't match. The process is slow and methodical, a labor of love that respects the ice cream's journey from ingredient to indulgence. And speaking of ingredients, this is where expensive ice cream really shines. Imagine opening a tub and finding real vanilla beans scattered throughout, not just a flavoring but the actual beans. Or biting into a scoop to discover chunks of fresh, ripe fruit, their flavors vibrant and unspoiled. These are the hallmarks of pricier ice creams. They use high-quality, natural ingredients, often locally sourced and always chosen with care. But perhaps the most distinguishing characteristic of expensive ice cream is its density. While cheaper ice creams often pump in air to increase volume, high-end versions are all about the cream. The result is a denser, creamier ice cream that luxuriously coats your tongue with each spoonful. This lower air content also means that the flavors are more concentrated, leading to a more intense taste experience. So, you see, expensive ice cream isn't just about the price tag, it's about the quality of ingredients, the process, and the final product. It's a celebration of flavors, 
a testament to the magic that happens when you combine passion, craftsmanship, and the best ingredients nature has to offer. You've seen both sides of the ice cream world. It's time to delve into why these differences matter. Ever noticed how some ice creams melt faster or taste differently? Let's explore why. When it comes to the taste and texture of ice cream, the ingredients and overall process of creation play significant roles. The flavor profiles and mouthfeel of cheap and expensive ice cream can differ remarkably, and it's largely due to the ingredients used and the manufacturing procedures followed. Let's take a look at the cheaper versions first. They often use more air, less cream, and rely heavily on artificial flavors and colors. The result? A lighter, fluffier texture and flavors that can sometimes taste synthetic. You might also notice that cheaper ice cream tends to melt faster, thanks to the higher percentage of air incorporated during production. On the flip side, expensive ice creams typically use less air and more high-quality cream, resulting in a denser, richer texture. The flavors are usually derived from natural ingredients like pure vanilla bean, fresh fruit, or high-quality chocolate. This not only gives the ice cream a more authentic flavor but also a smoother, creamier mouthfeel. And because of the lower air content, these premium ice creams melt more slowly, giving you ample time to savor each spoonful. But it's not just about the feel and taste. The use of artificial versus natural ingredients also impacts the overall eating experience. Artificial ingredients can sometimes leave an aftertaste, whereas natural ingredients provide a clean, fresh finish on the palate. So, when you scoop into an ice cream tub, you're not just digging into a frozen dessert, you're experiencing a culmination of choices made during its production from the quality of the cream to the type of flavors used, and even the amount of air whipped into it. It's clear that the price of ice cream isn't just about the brand, it's a reflection of what goes into the tub. So, what's the scoop? Is expensive ice cream really worth the extra cash? Let's get to the creamy center of this chilly debate. Recapping our sweet journey, we've seen that the price tag on your ice cream can often reflect the quality of ingredients used. Cheaper ice cream tends to use more air, artificial flavors and stabilizers, resulting in a lighter, fluffier texture and a taste that can sometimes lean more towards sweet than nuanced. On the other hand, pricier ice cream usually boasts a higher fat content, less air and premium natural ingredients giving it a dense, rich texture and a symphony of flavors that dance on your tongue. But here's the real cherry on top, knowing what's in your food. The value of this knowledge goes beyond mere curiosity. It's about understanding what you're putting into your body. It's about making choices that align with your values, whether that's supporting local businesses, prioritizing natural ingredients or simply saving a few bucks. That said, it's important to remember that the best ice cream is a subjective matter. What matters is what you prefer and what aligns with your budget. If you're a fan of light and airy ice cream and you're okay with a few additives, then go ahead and enjoy that bargain bin tub. If you're all about that dense creamy goodness and you're willing to shell out a few extra bucks for quality, then by all means indulge in that gourmet pint. Think of it like this. It's not about cheap versus expensive but rather, understanding the trade-offs and making an informed decision that suits your palate and your pocket. So there you have it, the inside scoop on the world of ice cream. Remember, whether it's a dollar scoop or a gourmet gelato, the best ice cream is the one that brings you joy. Don't forget to subscribe for more tasty facts and food for thought.